Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES Instructional Support, and in this video I'd like to show you how to insert a video into your Google Slide Deck, as well as unlock some advanced features for that video. Let's start by inserting a video into our Slide Deck. It all starts in the menu bar by clicking Insert, and then selecting Video. Now, once we get here, you can see there are three different options at this time that I have. I can search YouTube, where I can put in a key term and search for a video. One thing we want you to be aware of, though, you cannot preview the videos in this window, as far as we can tell, at this time. So, that could be a little exciting. Maybe another option you want to look into is by YouTube URL. So, that means I can go to YouTube, find a video that I like, what a great video this one is, <laughs> and I can either copy the link from up here, or I can click the share button within YouTube and copy the link. That way I know the video that I'm adding. All I have to do is right click and say paste, and there's my video by saying select. The third option, which is relatively new and super duper awesome, is selecting Google Drive. All of a sudden, you can pull in video files that are in Google Drive. That means if you're using a screencasting tool like Screencastify or something like that, you now have the ability to pull those videos in. Prior to this, we had to send the video from Screencastify out to YouTube, and then I could pull it in from YouTube. But again, I can just do it right from Google Drive. So once you have your video, click Select, and there it is. Just like you would expect, you can drag the corners to resize the video however you want. But the advanced features that we want to show are when you right click on the video, and it used to say video options, now it says format options. And this unlocks a lot of different things for both pictures and videos. One important thing is the video playback. Here, I can preview the video, and I can say I want to use the time it's at right now to start, and I want it to end right there. So I can adjust the start and end time. Effectively, I can crop the video within my slide presentation, which is awesome. Another option is autoplay when presenting. That means as soon as the slide is selected or as soon as the slide is shown, the video will begin playing as opposed to having to click on it to start it. Another option is to mute audio. If you want to show the video of it but not have the soundtrack playing, you can mute the audio. You can also change the size and position if there's a particular size that you're looking for and dragging the corners doesn't work. You can position where the video is, you can rotate it, and if you want to get aesthetically pleasing with it, you can give it a drop shadow. So these are all, again, found by right-clicking the video and selecting format options. Now, one little thing we do want to make sure you're aware of is at this time within Google Slides, a video will always be on top and it will always bring itself to the top. What do I mean? Well, uh, if I want to make this video appear in a slide, maybe I'm going to put a square over top of it and if I get really tricky, I'll make it the same color as my background. I'm not going to do that right now just to show a point. And then I could make this square uh, dissolve or fade away in the slideshow to reveal the video underneath. That's great. But you'll notice all I did was build this, the shape on top of my video. When I go into present mode, the video automatically will snap itself to the surface so it's impossible to hide. So we just want to make sure that you're aware of that one. One alternative is to have separate slides, uh, one with the video and one without the video to make the video magically up here, but more on that later. But there you go, that's how to insert a video into a Google Slide Deck and accessing the video options under Format Options for that video. If you have any questions on this or anything else EdTech related, please feel free to email me. You're welcome to subscribe to this channel to receive notifications when new videos are posted, and as always, thank you for watching.